as round two was a feast for your ears, it's only fair that round three be a treat for your eyes. Each team will be presented with two questions, either a blurred cartoon character or a collage of images. Simply identify the character uh, in the blurred image for a point and all the characters or toys in the collage for three additional points. So big, big scoring round this, but beware if you answer incorrectly, I will hand the question over to the other team during this round. So think of it as an extra incentive to answer correctly. Otherwise, your opponents could earn themselves some juicy bonus points. OK, as Team Ted went uh, first last team time round, let's go with you, Team Bill. And let's take a look at your collage. Wow. Um, Powerpuff Girls. Powerpuff Girls on the bottom. Uh, um, the live action Buzz Lightyear in the middle. Yeah, I don't know what's on uh, Zapdos, the uh, Thunder Pokemon. <laughs> okay, well, there's your answers. Pretty confident. Let's take a look at these. We'll start with the top. Zapdos, you're right, yes, uh, from uh, Pokemon. If you tell me that's true, I'll believe you. Okay, and uh, let's take a look at what was the middle. I think this is one that everybody probably got, Buzz Lightyear. And the bottom. You were quickly in with that, weren't you? Power Puff Girls. Aren't they fabulous? Well done. So you get three points for that. Let's take a look at your blurred image. What is this? Here it comes. Ooh, what do you make of that? Oh, you might need to squint. Mm, yeah, are you trying the looking through a glass technique? What is that? It's um, off Robot Wars, and it's the um, main one. I can't remember what it's called. The main, the big evil robot, the the house robot out of Robot Wars, and it's not Matilda. It's oh, no, it's not Matilda. Matilda looked like a pig. It was. Um, come on, help me out, Karis. Come on. Seen it like. Three I can't, pa I can't so. pass this over to Team Ted, but they're nodding very knowledgeably oh. over there <laughs> and smirking <laughs> slightly. Um. <laughs> All right, oh, I'm going to have to move you on. You, you were on the right lines. It's Sir Killalot. Oh. <laughs> Point uh, <laughs> drop there by you. Right, OK, let's uh, move it on then to Team Ted. And here's your collage. Let's take a look oh, at this. Um, what have we got there then, guys? Come on, give me some feedback. What are you seeing? Um, on the top, it's Flubber. Yes. On the bottom, it's Ash Ketchum, I think. That's a fluffy What's panda. The, it's a panda. <gasps> the panda from... I don't know. What can we... What's on the bottom penguin. there with the cool turnips? Ash Ketchum. Okay, and what did you say from the middle? Uh, uh, Some kind of animal, like a penguin or a panda. Can't be kung fu panda. So no. that's just, yeah. Not too sure about the middle one, though. Pingo. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, no, <laughs> not pingo. <laughs> no. Okay, all right. Well, I'll tell you what. So final answers: top. Uh, flubber. Middle. Not sure. And bottom? <laughs> uh, Ash Ketchum. All right, let's take a look. Shall we let's take a look at these images? Uh, the top first. You're quite right. Yeah. Flubber. The middle was um, actually a toy. It was a Furby. Furby. Oh, <laughs> and uh, the bottom was Ash Ketchum, as you quite rightly said. So two out of three. OK, let's move on to your blur image. And this isn't Damon Albarn's band. This is a blurred image. What do you make of that? It's two people. Oh, no, there's two, because he's holding something. Um, They're like Egyptian. What are you thinking, guys? What are you seeing through the haze? Two people. I'm your student, so you must be used to seeing things looking blurred. <laughs> Does that help <laughs> at all? Uh, oh. Christ. I'm, I'm going to have to push sure. you on this. I've, I've Any I've idea at all? I have no idea. No, no idea. Nothing at all? Sword. I don't know, I'm sawing this down or something. Well, let's take a look at the clean image, shall we? Uh, and this is Dang. Biker oh. Mice from Mars. From Mars. <laughs> Biker Mice. And that is the end of round three. <laughs> Well, teams, the end is in sight, but it is not over yet. You have one last opportunity to gather vital points. You won't be taking it in turns, so look sharp. Fingers on buzzers and get ready for the quick-fire round. To grab my attention, each team has their own nostalgic noises. Team Bill goes something like this. It's me, Mario! And Team Ted has a bit of this. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. So you're getting it. Right, OK, so fingers on the buzzers, guys. Here we go. James Avery played Uncle Phil in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, but he also voiced which cartoon villain? James 
I'm going to give you a count of three, and if you don't have an answer, we've got three, two, one. OK, both a bit thick. Right. <laughs> what was the name of the villain in Disney's Sleeping Beauty? It's me, Mario. It's over to Team Bill. I don't remember. <laughs> uh, um, oh, well, well, uh, 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 kind of witch. It's evil woman. Passing over to Team Ted. <laughs> yeah. Do you want the question again? What's the name of the villain in Disney's Sleeping Beauty? It's a witch of some sort. <laughs> and what's her name? Which? <laughs> no, surprisingly enough, it's not. Disney were a little more imaginative than that. <laughs> Maleficent. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, relation was Tommy to Angelica in Rugrats? It's me, Mario! That was uh, tight, that, wasn't it? But I'm going to give it to Bill. Um, cousins. Cousins, cousins. Cousins. That is correct. Well done. OK, right. What actor played the character Harry the Burglar in the film Home Alone? It's me, Mario! Joe Pesci. Correct. Come on, Team Ted. Looking a bit simple over there. They're racing away with it. What was the name of the society who told each other ghost stories on the show Are You Afraid of the Dark? Oh, Jesus. Oh, I hated that show. Dark, dark society. Do we have an answer for either team? It's me, Mario. The Black Society. That is a good guess, yeah. It's not right, but it's a good guess. It was the Midnight Society. Oh. In the Super Mario Brothers film, which American city do Mario and Luigi live in? Mario! Yeah, it is, it is that button there. <laughs> if, you, if you get ready to press it, then there's a chance you'll get in before Team Bill. Maybe, maybe have your hand near it. <laughs> Team Bill, what's the answer? New York. On the other hand, you could just accept the fact <laughs> that they, they don't know anything, and, and that way that you get the question passed on is to you. Is it Brooklyn? Correct, yeah. well done. <laughs> Who did Alan Rickman play in Die Hard? This is the last question. So a chance, possibly, to win the game. Yeah, of course. It's all on Christmas. I'm going to give you count to three, and if no-one's buzzed, then you forfeit the point. Three, two... It's me, Mario! The bad guy called, he was German, um... Hans... Evil man... Dos... Hans Evil Mandos. I so want to give you a point because that is what it should have been. <laughs> <laughs> but it's actually Hans Gruber. Oh, you were oh. so close. Well done. Well, good effort all round. That is the end <laughs> of round four. This is good. <laughs> well, you feeling nervous? I certainly am. I've just got the scores given to me. Who do you think's won? Who do you think's won? Probably not. <laughs> Who do you think? <laughs> um, um, I think, I think. <laughs> the modesty, isn't the modesty sweet, eh? <laughs> hey? Not really, it's a bit sickly. <laughs> OK, well, Team Bill are the winners with ten points. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> but the big, big losers. Team Ted with just seven. I almost oh. wonder why you came for this show. <laughs> but you're here. <laughs> And I should thank you for that. That's all for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. So, with thanks to teams Bill and Ted, I bid you both goodbye. If you feel like taking a stroll down memory lane again anytime soon, feel free to drop by. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>